Hi, my name is John Ryder, and welcome to a guide to Instadocs. What I'll be showing you today is the features of our newest product, Instadocs. I will be explaining the key features, the availability and pricing of the modules, as well as a product demonstration. So what is Instadocs? Instadocs is DSD's version of document management for the Sage 100 ERP product. It allows simple use of electronic document storage, viewing, and access from within the various screens in Sage 100. It is the first and only document management software product that's been created by a Sage 100 developer, and the document management capabilities are embedded within the Sage 100 screens. It is a unique electronic document storage solution it allows easy access of documents as well as sharing of documents. There are six key features of Instadocs. First off, easy access. The ability to store, view, share documents from within various places within Sage 100. And that includes the maintenance panels, data entry, and inquiry screens. Each of these screens has the Instadocs panel which displays all the documents associated with the customers, vendors, or items. You have the capability of tagging documents, and that means being able to select a document and assigning unlimited keywords or phrases that can then be used to search on later on. We also have paperless office integration. Within Sage 100, you have the capability already of doing paperless office where you can store journals, registers, and forms in electronic format. With Instadocs, we've taken that feature to the next level where as you print those documents, they can be automatically stored in PDF format in the appropriate vendor and customer directories. We also have security built in so you can select by role which role or user can access the documents, view the documents, delete the documents, as well as doing document tagging. Finally, we have a key feature of cloud storage, which allows documents to be stored in the cloud using Microsoft's OneDrive. With Microsoft OneDrive, you can store the documents in the cloud, as well as storing documents locally on your network. We currently have five modules available for Instadocs, and those are the distribution modules. And those include accounts payable, accounts receivable, inventory management, purchase order, and sales order. In Q4 of 2014, we will be releasing additional modules. The pricing we currently have available is $1,000 per module. We do offer bundle pricing where you can buy four and get one free. And we have a promotion running where you can purchase all five modules that we have available for 50% off. Let me begin the product demonstration now. To demonstrate the InStocks panel, I'm going to select Customer Maintenance. A lot of what you'll see here is very similar to what you'll see in Vendor Maintenance, Item Maintenance, as well as the other data entry and inquiry panels. On the right side of the panel, you'll see a new tab called Instadocs. I'm going to select a customer, then select that tab. And you can see it displays the documents for that customer. As I browse each record, it'll display the documents for each of the customers. You can change the view of the documents. So you can select the list view, the icon view, tile view, as well as the details view. I like the details view because it shows me more information. I can change the columns. I can also sort by each column. I can also open a document by double clicking on the document itself. So you can see here, you can open up any type of file such as a PDF, a Word document, or any picture file like a JPEG or BMP file. 
Next, I'm going to show you the drag and drop capability. So on your right, you'll see a uh, Microsoft Explorer panel uh, that I have opened up uh, to a directory that contains our user manuals. So I'm going to use this as an example for the drag and drop. You can see here on this customer, the directory is set to invalid, which means that the default directory does not yet exist. And it won't exist until I drag and drop a document in. So here I'm going to select from the right side and drag it over and place it right under the Instadocs panel. And you can see that it will appear automatically. I can drag and drop one file or I can do multiple files. I can also right click and copy. And I can right click and paste directly into the Instadocs panel. I have a refresh button here that will refresh the display. I can also right click any document here, copy and paste it back and forth. You're also able to select any document. And on the right side of the Instadocs panel, there is a magic wand button. When you select it, it allows you to apply tags to a document. And as mentioned before, a tag can be a specific keyword or phrase that you want to attach to a document that you can then search on later on. You can apply multiple tags, unlimited tags, that is. Uh, so you can type in any tag you want. So I can type my name in. Uh, but I can also select from a lookup of template tags. And template tags are tags that are commonly used. And these are set up in Instadocs options, which I will show you in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and select Sage Summit 2014 as my tag. I can uh, select one document to tag. I can also select multiple documents to tag. Below the tagging button is the search capability. So I can select a lookup to the tag. So I'm going to select Sage Summit 2014. And I'm going to search the documents in this directory or this customer's directory, that is, uh, for that file name. Uh, I can select uh, just that customer's directory or I can search all directories. So it shows the file that was tagged with that uh, tag. Um, and uh, I can also look at the directory that it's in. I can double click on the file itself to open it. Uh, I can also select the tag button here so I can remove the tag and I can replace it with a different tag if I'd like. I should point out that the document directory for this customer is set up in Instadoc setup options. And it's made up of two parts. The default path as well as a naming convention for the customer. In this case, I'm using a naming convention of the customer number. I'm going to go ahead and show you an Instadoc setup options where you can set this up. On the setup menu of each module that has Instadocs, we have an Instadoc setup options menu option. When you select it, you can see two tabs, a main tab and then the template tags tab. Uh, first off, we have uh, the Enable Security. When you turn this on, you then have the capability of setting security and role maintenance for each role. Each role can have the privilege of seeing a document, opening a document, emailing a document, deleting a document, and tagging a document. As mentioned, the directory is set up as a default path plus a naming convention. So here I have a default path set up on my network uh, for the customers. I have similar paths for my vendor and my items. Here you have a naming convention for the customer directory and you have three options. You can have it be the customer number, the customer name, or the customer number plus an underscore in the customer name. So when the default directory is set, 
It's based on the default path plus the naming convention for the customer directory. Also on the setup options, we have the setup for paperless office printing. So we have it in uh, the following places in accounts receivable. We have it in invoice printing and statement printing. You can set the naming convention for the document that is created with paperless. So for an invoice, I can set the invoice uh, document to be the invoice number. It could be the customer number plus the invoice number. It could be the word invoice and in the invoice number, or it could be invoice plus the customer number plus the invoice number. And for statement printing, we have the following naming conventions customer number and the statement date, or the word statement, customer number, and the statement date. Here you can also set the default view. In this case, I've set my default view to be detailed, but you can choose a different view for each module. Finally, on this tab, we have the capability of enabling the document tab and data entry. So here we have invoice entry and cash receipts entry for InstaDocs. On the second tab is where we set up the template tags. You can see here that I've enabled the tagging of documents and I've defined five template tags that can be applied to documents in the accounts receivable module. Each module has its own capability of doing tagging and you set up template tags for each module. In accounts payable, you'll see that the setup options is very similar to what we've seen in accounts receivable. You can set the default path for the vendor as well as the naming convention for the vendor directory. You can set the naming convention for the check documents for paperless. You can set the default view. You can also set the uh, enablement of the data entry document tabs. And you can see here that I've set up template tags just for accounts payable, one of which is needs management review. So you have the capability of tagging documents with this tag, and then you're able to search on the tag and then review the documents. You can then remove the tag and replace it with a tag such as approved by John Ryder. The InstaDocs panel functionality that we saw in the maintenance programs are also in the data entry. I'm going to select AP Invoice Data Entry. I have an AP Invoice set up, and you can see here there's an InstaDocs panel, just like we saw in Vendor and Customer Maintenance. I'm going to select a document. I'm going to drag and drop it in. And you can see that it adds that document to the invoice. The difference that we see here in data entry that we don't have in maintenance is the auto tagging. So if I highlight that document and select my tag button, you'll see that there was a tag automatically applied, what we call an auto tag, which is the invoice number. I should mention that any documents in this directory are actually stored in the vendors directory, but it's only displaying those documents that are tagged with the invoice number. Next, I'm going to show you sales order entry. I'm going to pull up a sales order and select the InstaDocs tab. Here, I'm going to drag and drop a document into the InstaDocs panel. And as we saw in the AP invoice entry, this document is auto tagged with the order number. Another feature we have uh, throughout InstaDocs is the paperless capability. So here I'm going to go ahead and select order printing. And if you print or preview the document, when you're done, it will prompt you to print the same document in PDF format to InstaDocs. When I bring up that order again and select the InstaDocs tab, you can see that it's created the PDF 
of the sales order. In addition to that, it's also tagged that sales order with the order number. Now, if I go into invoice data entry and I create an invoice for that sales order, you can see here that the documents flowed from the sales order into the invoice. And as it did so, it tagged it with the invoice number. So you can see that these documents are tagged with both the order number and the invoice number. As mentioned earlier, you have the capability of searching for tag documents in the maintenance, data entry, and inquiry programs by selecting this button here. Uh, in addition to doing the search here, you also can do the search from uh, the utilities menu in each module. So here I'll select accounts receivable utilities and uh, on this menu there's an InstaDoc super search. It really does have the same capability, um, however it does search all documents. So I can select uh, for this module uh, any of these and do a search and uh, it'll search all directories and I also have the capability of doing a search by the data entry point so I can search for documents that were drag and dropped in the customer maintenance or vendor maintenance or in data entry cash receipts uh, or in purchase order or inventory that way I can uh, minimize my search and find the document that I'm looking for As mentioned, one of the capabilities of InstaDocs is the cloud integration. We've chosen Microsoft's OneDrive as an integration point to our document management system. On this customer maintenance screen, you'll see that we have a customer here whose default directory has not yet been uh, set. Um, we can use this directory on the network or we can select a different directory. We can select a directory that's already been set up for this customer, or in this case, I'm going to select the OneDrive. I'm going to select the customer's directory on OneDrive, and then this subdirectory. When I do that, you can see that it's displaying documents that I already have in the cloud. This is my OneDrive account. Again, this is cloud storage, and you can see it's showing the same exact documents that we saw in customer maintenance. If I drag and drop some documents into the InstaDocs tab, in just a few moments, it'll automatically be uploaded to the OneDrive. You also have the capability of opening a document in OneDrive as well as deleting documents. When the deletion is complete, you'll see in customer maintenance with a refresh, it displays the new panel. This concludes the demonstration of InstaDocs. Thank you, and please visit us at www.dsdinc.com. For more information, you can contact our office at 1-800-627-9032.